Decatur sent a teenager to the hospital. An 18-year-old was shot around 7 o'clock. It happened near the corner of East Prairie Street and North 23rd. This is the second shooting indicator today. The first happened near North Water and East Olive Streets this afternoon. A man was seriously hurt. WCI 3's Jennifer Jensen is at the scene of tonight's shooting on East Prairie. Jennifer, what have police told you? Paul, police are clearing the scene right now as we speak. They tell me that they haven't made any arrests in this shooting here tonight yet. Now, as of about 15 minutes ago, police tell me that they cannot confirm the condition of that 18-year-old who was shot yet. But we will make sure to bring you that as soon as we know it. Now, police did say he was the only victim that they are aware of at this time. And police have been here in the streets outside these homes searching for the past few hours. But like I said, they are clearing the scene right now and that's all the information that has been released. Stay with us on WCIA.com on our website for the latest details of what happened here tonight. Live Indicator, I'm Jennifer Jensen, WCIA 3, your local news leader. Yeah, Jennifer, if you do learn anything more, let us know. This morning in Decatur, WCIA 3's Karina Rubio is live there. Now, Karina, I just saw that uh, police are back on the scene. Christy, that's right. They are going around the area right now. You can see two officers with a dog going around the area talking to neighbors and um, having the dog sniff up and down the street. This happened on um, Johns Avenue and South Webster Street just after 1 o'clock. I spoke to a neighbor who said this started off as a family block party that turned bad toward later in the night. He says that this block is home to many elderly people and this type of situation typically doesn't happen here. Police say a group of nearly 100 people were gathered in that area. Two people showed up to the hospital with gunshot wounds, and one person called from the scene sometime. And sometime later, another person showed up to the hospital as well. Man, why? What was all that for? Everything was going good. We had the blow house out here for all the kids. We had the cooking, we had the barbecue over here, cooking for everybody. When it got dark time, that's when we're down here. He also says shots went through his car and his mom's house, and that neighbor was out here with some other people on the block since early this morning, help, um, working to sweep up some of that shattered glass and garbage that's left over in the sidewalks here. Live indicator, Karina Ruby. Shooting indicator, WCIA 3's Karina Rubio is live there now. Karina, what have you learned from police so far? Well, Christy, I'm at the corner of Lober and Olive Streets where at least one man was shot. This happened around 3 this morning, and I've seen at least five officers on scene investigating. They have several evidence markers on the ground, and police have also been looking at a motorcycle and speaking to people inside a house that it's parked in front of. That's all the information that we have at this point, but I will continue to keep you guys updated as I learn more. Live in Decatur, Karina Rubio, WCIA 3. Leads, they're still investigating after a violent weekend in Decatur. Good evening, I'm Jessica Coons. Six people were shot. One of the victims was sent to the hospital in critical condition. Another victim is a child. These shootings started Saturday evening and continued into Sunday afternoon. WCI 3's Jared Farmer is live in the newsroom. Jared, this has prompted a lot of response from city leaders. Yes, it has, Jessica, and right now they are looking into their options to support the police as the police are investigating and asking for witnesses to come forward. There's a lot of work to do, but Decatur police say they have made some progress. They say they have reason to believe this weekend's shootings were committed by members of the city's south and east side gangs, and that these are the same gangs responsible for a shooting spree back in August. In this case, officers are looking at six shootings with six victims. One of them is a 10-year-old boy. Mayor Julie Wolf says the city needs to be better about dealing with gun violence.